Uh, my name's Miss Ship. I'm the nursery teacher at Easton's Primary School. Um, I'm just doing a video because you've either registered your child or you might be looking to register your child at our nursery. And I just thought I'd show you around. So come on in. So this is the path that you'll walk down. Um, you enter nursery through the gate here, where I'll be standing ready to greet you, like this. And let's go inside. So this is the door that you'll enter in and the first thing we like you to do in nursery is to find your name. So your name will be on a piece of fruit to help you recognise it and then you'll pop it up on the back of the cupboard to show who's in nursery today. And then next you'll have a coat and a bag so I'll show you where we put those. You have to walk through the classroom and into the corridor and then you'll have your own name and your face on a coat peg, okay? And just above that, you've got a space where we'll put all of your lovely work. So when you've hung up your coat and your bag, you can then come into the classroom and choose your learning. Now, we don't set up lots and lots of things for the children because we like them to learn to be independent and to self-resource. So around the classroom you'll see lots of different areas with lots of different resources in where the children can choose what they want. So on this side we've got crayons, we've got chalk, we've got pencils. So the children come and choose whatever they want. They choose their paper or their notebook or their stencils or there's themed paper with our topic on the table for them to choose and this is our mark making area. So next to the mark making area, we're very fortunate to have a toilet in the classroom, so the children never need to go too far. So we've got a child sized toilet, a step and a sink here, and the children know that they can go to the toilet whenever they need to, they don't need to ask. So next to the toilet and the mark making area, we've then got our home corner. Okay, so I'll go in and show you. So in this area, children can be really imaginative. We've got a kitchen for them to cook with, um, topical books, we've got our cuddly toys in here, and it's a really good area for children to use their social skills and develop their friendships together. Um, we usually change the area and the theme in here, so it might be set up as a birthday party, if it's Chinese New Year, we would try and replicate that. So there's always lots going on in here each week. So next to the home corner, you walk around the doors and we've got our small world area here. So we've got boxes of things for the children to, again, self-resource. We've got animals, we've got people, we've got cars, um, and then the other sort of boxes change weekly depending on what the children's interests are. So next to the small world area, we also have our construction area. And these two areas go hand in hand because the children can choose to build things for the cars and the animals and the people. So children can use their imagination over here and get really creative. We've got lots of pictures behind me and behind the doll's house as to what sort of things the children could build. They go all the way along the back. So we're back by the front door now where you enter and we've got our creative area. So there are three sides of our art easel for children to get creative on. Again, we kind of theme what we'd like the children to paint, but if they want to paint what they want, we won't stop them. So we have lots of resources here that they can self-resource and choose from. Um, the bottom shelf looks a bit messy, but it's not, it's junk modelling and the children choose what they like. They can self-resource their scissors and their glue, any bits to stick on to decide what they're going to make and build on the creative table. This corner of our classroom is usually set up as a role play area. So currently it was our dance studio, but this area changes every two or three weeks depending on what the children would like it to be. So currently we have a stage for the children to dance on for their friends and over in this area we've got the costume department so they choose their outfit 
there's instruments for them to use and then they go in get changed and then they come and put on a performance for their friends this is our carpet area at the front of the classroom and this is where your child will be sitting when we have stories and when we sing together and they'll each have their own bubble to sit on we're also fortunate to have a large screen at the front so this helps us with lots of things and it's child height so that they can come up and draw and touch if they've got an answer for what we're learning about. In the middle of the classroom we've got a unit with lots of boxes in and these are called our loose parts. So children can choose a box and they can decide what they want to do with them. So this one's got bottle lids in and they can take it around the classroom. Children pretend this is their picnic. Um, there's lots of different things that they pretend with. We've got corks, pine cones, sticks, stones, we've got numbers, we've got musical instruments at the bottom there, uh, jigsaws on the top and our technology tray. And this is my desk at the front of the classroom. So we are called the dolphin class in nursery and this is Danny Dolphin and he'll be in nursery with you. Uh, we also follow Read Write Ink, so we learn our sounds in nursery and our ten town numbers are across the top at the front of the classroom as well. So, going from inside to outside, the nursery door is always open so children get to choose whether they want to play inside or outside and usually we would have lots of toys and resources and learning opportunities set up for the children outside on a normal nursery day. Things look a little bit different right now because we haven't got everything set up and ready to access for the children. But we have two main outdoor areas. So this is our lower area. And we share this area with reception class next door as well. And then we're fortunate to have extra space up at the top on the grass where we have our mud kitchen, we have our musical instruments, we have a stage area and lots of other things that we choose to do up on the grass as well. Thank you for watching the tour of our nursery. I hope you found it useful and hopefully you'll be able to come and see it for yourselves very soon and I look forward to seeing you and playing with you in the future. Thank you.